WOWT 6 News is bringing light to a topic that is not easy to discuss. Every 13 minutes, someone in the United States is going to commit suicide. Well, this morning, Jenna James is live to break down the connection between teen suicide and social media. And we're all asking the question, what can we do, Jenna? Well, Dave Therese, there needs to be a lifeline for teens, an actual person in their life to help them through any of the struggles that they're going through. Now, that can be a parent. Dr. Kristen Abendante with Boys Town says that parents need to have good communication with their with their uh, children. That way, they can better get to know them and keep that relationship close. If you're not knowing who they're hanging out with, the music that they like, um, the things that they enjoy doing, then we're also not going to have any access to what they're doing online or when they're having a problem. Now, Dr. Abendante says when you better understand how your child uses social media, they're more likely to then come to you when they are facing a problem. But if your child doesn't feel comfortable coming to you, then you should encourage them to talk to a teacher or another trusted adult. Dave Cerise. All right, Jenna Jane's reporting live tonight with some good information. Jenna, thank you. And tonight, WOWT6 News will go in depth with survivor stories and what parents can do to help. Tune in at 6:30 for our half-hour documentary on suicide and mental illness in the Heartland.